Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Not Play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate with Bow Guns. On today's episode, we will be taking on the mighty, the ferocious, the laser beam firing Agnactor. Uh, I've chosen the Agnactor over the uh, Uragon um, because, well, as soon as you do Uragon, it unlocks the final quest, and I think we should do this in a way that is a little bit more um, linear. So, we'll, we won't even have access to the final quest until we actually do the quest before that. So, yes, good. This makes total sense to me, probably not to any of you, but that's okay. Um, as you can see, I guess I could bring these. Uh, I have brought, I have upgraded my armor. I have, uh, well, not really upgraded, but I have a new armor set. I actually have two. Uh, and I also have a new bow gun. Uh, so these are all Diablo stuff. Um, the Diablo's armor, what am I looking for here? All right, I'm looking for rations. There we go. Um, the Diablo's armor. Gives you some really nice skills. Let me run over there to hit that. Uh, pierce, pierce up, tremor resist, and critical eye plus one. I have jumped into critical eye plus two. I could have gotten more, but I only have a expert plus four uh, talisman. If I get an expert plus five, then I can get. Um, I could probably get uh, critical eye plus three or better. Um, through that, but unfortunately I don't. The bow gun doesn't really fire all that much ammunition. It only fires everything you're ever going to need, really. But um, this upgrades into what is arguably, and not really much of an argument, because no one has a strong enough counterpoint. Well, I guess I guess the uh, <clears throat> the Nargakuga one does get pretty good, but um, in general, this will be the best bow gun overall throughout the rest of the game. <clears throat> Not always going to be the one we're going to use. I'm sorry, I seem to have something caught in my throat. <clears> throat. I dislike hawking into the microphone or clearing my throat, but it is necessary in this situation, so I hope you all do forgive me for that. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is the Ignector. He is big, he is scary, he is covered in armor plating, and uh, I don't care because I'm bowgunning. Ha ha! I don't bounce. I don't cause much damage, but at least I don't bounce, which is a huge thing. Um, slight downside to this bowgun at the moment. It has super high um, negative affinity. Um, most most often your your negative affinity will be you know like maybe five or ten. This one has twenty five. So even with that critical eye plus two, um, I still have negative five percent affinity, which means five percent of the hits that take place against Ignactor will only do seventy five percent of all possible damage. Um, not necessarily the best thing you want to have. Not, not necessarily the greatest thing in the world, which is why positive affinity is so good and you can get it in big enough amounts. But, um, yeah, overall, not not terrible. Uh, crouch fires, obviously Pierce level 1 and normal level 2, but we're going to be sticking with Pierce because of that Pierce Pierce up. And you can kind of see some of those negative hits in there. They kind of flash black for me um, and for all of you because you're watching this. Yay! Uh, he's going up into the ceiling, so we want to put this away and run the heck away because he comes down generally right on top of you unless he's targeting someone else and he was going to come right on top of me so it's a good thing I got out of there um, most of his attacks are uh, linear they're not very hard to dodge just get a little bit out of the way and he doesn't hit you it's a good thing when he goes in the lava obviously he uh, does that he melts kind of um, yeah <clears throat> thank you Oroctor I hate you um, this is probably his most dangerous attack, where he'll do this multiple jumping dolphin sort of thing. Um, and he will come after you multiple times, and you just have to kind of hope that you get out of the way. There's a couple different strategies for avoiding that entirely. My preferred one is to kind of run in a large, wide circle, because uh, he's less likely to hit you then. And he's coming right for me! Please get No, I did not get out of the way. Oh, I did get out of the way. He was far enough away. Good. I support that practice. Um, of getting out of the way and not getting hit. Um... A thing you need to take care of with Pierce, and I think I've used it before and explained this before, but it's been a while, so I'm going to explain it again. Pierce shot, you have to worry about ranges. If you're too close, your your shots do less damage. If you're too far away, even like with normal shots, your shots still do less damage, but that's more to be expected than if you're just too close. Here I am, probably a little bit too close. Let me back up just a touch, get back into that crouch fire mode, and bang, there we go. You kind of see a slightly brighter white flash when you hit him from range, so that's what you want to look for. Um, and it's, again, this is one of the reasons why I so miss Monster Hunter Tri's bowgun system, where you could create your own, and there was ranges and stuff that you could attach, because you could create a bowgun 
with such a low level of range that you could almost stand directly in front of the monster, I mean, like, almost touch it with the end of your bow gun, and still get your maximum damage hits. It was beautiful. And you never had, of course, you also, your shots despawned incredibly early. Oh, this is, uh, this is his one I really hate you attack. Um, he just kind of pops up there and sp just sprays the area with a big laser beam. Um, it's not that hard to dodge, but probably the best course of action, if you're close enough, is just get right up next to him and don't do that. Don't pull your bow gun out while he's about to attack you. <sighs> ah, yeah. Close. Um, also, tremor resist is good because when he comes down like that, he causes a tremor, which can cause you to lose your... to put your gun away before you want to. Um, seriously? Alright, I need to flash him. Just just again, to stop running around. Whoa, hello. Not expecting to have you there, sir. And... There we go. That's what we do. Bang! Oh, okay. Maybe not. Let's try that again. There we go. That's got him. A little too close. Back away. And... Perfect. This is just about that perfect... I think it's that perfect. I can't really tell. <laughs> um, there, no, this is the perfect one. Right there. I was a little too far. But uh, it works out. Because you, you see those slightly brighter flashes. Ah! Why did you hit me, Rockdor? Why? Why? Uh, those bright white flashes are what you want to see when you're hitting the monster. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Don't hit me. Oh, stupid Rockdor. It's not even that he hit me. He just got in the way. <gasps> They're trying to kill me or something. It's it's terrible. I don't feel the love. Um, there's a little bit of... I think there's a little bit of innate deviation in this gun. Um, I forget. I probably should have checked that before I just ran off and used it, but, you know. Who has time for that crap? See, right there, that would have caused a tremor that would make me put my gun away had I not had tremor resist, which is an incredibly good thing to have. I recommend you get it uh, when you are fighting this monster or, or even the next monster we're going to fight tomorrow, which would be... Um, Uragon, because he does a lot of tremors, and uh, it will be very helpful to not be affected by those. Um, Pierce 2, uh, I don't, uh, I think I've explained this before, but Pierce 1 has 3 hits, Pierce 2 has 4, and Pierce 3 has 5, just kind of scale up by level. Um, Chacha, you are not here, so you are no help at all, but usually he goes to area 5 at this point, uh, whenever he leaves this area the first time. If not, then we're in trouble. Um, guys, I'm going to head that way. I'm running out of stamina. Do I have another? I do have another ration. Woohoo! Let's go use that. Um, he should be eating right now, which would mean... Yep, he's going to eat right now. He kills that poor, hapless run applause. I feel so sorry for him, except I don't, because I hate run applause with a fiery burning passion of a thousand suns. And, um, yeah. So, we're going to avoid that and just run away, blow him up. Hopefully... Nope, that did not... I was hoping I was going to interrupt him, but I didn't. And uh, this is not the ideal place to be shooting him from in this situation, because your, most of your shots are just going to go right through him. Stupid run plus. You should have died with your brother. In fact, please do. Find a way, right now. Find a way to kill yourself, because just no one likes you at all. Die. <sighs> please die. Oh, thank you. I think he died. No, he didn't. How do you survive a laser beam? <laughs> How? I don't understand. I don't survive laser beams. You shouldn't be able to either. And it's gonna... Okay. You see this just like general area-wide shaking? That is the signal that he's about to do that. So get up close to them. Um, if you have... If you're using pure shots like I am, uh, don't shoot there. Because you'll basically just be wasting ammunition. It'll go right through them and will cause no damage. Uh, well, it'll cause a little bit of damage, but not enough to make it worth while you use wasting your ammunition. Um, uh oh. He's angry. Uh, when he does that attack, where he just kind of slams his face into the ground a couple times, um, you can dodge them. Yeah, like I did, I did dodge one right there, but my, my odds are not great, and I usually end up getting hit by it like three or four times in a row, so that's probably just me because I'm bad at this game, but um, yeah, it works out sometimes. Remember, you want to keep some distance and try and interrupt him whenever possible. Also, don't stick around in one place too long while he is subterranean. I think he just left the area. I do believe. 
Cha cha, where'd he go? There he is. Area 8, that's a good sign. That generally means that he's getting close to being capture ready uh, when he goes up there rather than back to Area 7 or to 6. Um, so keep that in mind. Try to lure him into a more favorable situation. By favorable situation, I mean like one where he leaves the area and just dies. Yes. Uh oh. Don't miss Gavi, it's a bad thing. Maybe it's the capture Ergon quest that does it. I don't know. I'm trying to remember what what, what the uh, final key quest is to get um, uh, Sid Deus unlocked. It's been a while since I've done that uh, in anything, so I kind of forgot. Alright. Can I get you? No. Of course not. And I'm going to dig again. Okay. You can... It's theoretically possible to break him out of a dig with a sonic bomb like it is with Diablos, but I've never done it successfully. I did it one time with a Krag 3, and I felt like the pro master of all everything that day. But aside from that one time, um, yeah, I've never done it before. <laughs> use this easy flash bomb. Okay, I'll use that. I'll use that every day of the week, sir. If you're going to be nice and give it to me, I will certainly use it. Um, so you can see he's just in that perfect range right now, but I don't really like this angle because of that leftward deviation that I'm getting. Um, so I'm not particularly being the most effective that I could be stupid. Well, actually, that's, you know, that's not the worst thing that could happen right there. So, you know what? I'll take it. I will take that little bit of damage from the cat. Totally worth it. Oh, see, he's captured ready. This is his limp. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to stop him? I don't think so. He's pretty well armored at the moment. Um, yeah, he's He moves faster than he looks like he should be. <laughs> he's like, oh, I can't make it. Oh, I can't make it. Oh, I can't make it. But I'm still moving faster than you are, so. Or at least with a heavy bowgun. With a light bowgun, we probably could have done it, but heavy bowgun's not really. So, unfortunately. Now I kind of wish I'd have kept that, uh, that bomb. Or those bombs, but oh well. It's not too big of a deal. Um, running a little bit over time on this. I usually try and keep these to like 10 minutes, but, you know, it is what it is. I could have used Rathalos armor. I have that, too. I finally went and got those tails. I did a lot of off-screen grinding between the last episode and this one. Um, so I got Rathalos armor. I got this armor. I got this bow gun. I think I got something else, too, but I forget what it was. Not really all that, not really all that important. Um, but, uh, yeah. Overall, just a pretty pretty straightforward monster fight. He's not going to give you too much trouble as long as you stay away from the lasers. And the stupid Raktor! Have I mentioned how much I hate minions in this game? I think I might have said it once or twice before. Just confirming to everyone again that that has not changed in any way, shape, or form. Yes. All the minion monsters are ten times as deadly as their bigger counterparts. Uh, I am so glad, just happy beyond words. That there is no, like, boss form of Renaplos, because I'm quite sure that that would be, like, there's just the trolliest thing ever. And I know people say that, and I, I've seen videos, so I believe them, but I've seen, I've heard people say that, oh, no, no, Wolfang was the worst thing ever, and this one, and that, and the other, and no, uh, you can't even begin to compare Renaplos to how bad it was in Freedom Unite, and I'm like, well, I understand that, but this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> And, and, and you know what? It, it's frustrating enough. I feel vindicated in my in my unrivaled hatred for all things minion monsters. Um, I, I'm kind of at the point where I'm thinking that all of the, the few quests that I have in here to kill specifically minion monsters are just like a sort of therapy to like get you back, to give you like some sort of vengeance for all the times that they mess up your hunt. <sighs> I'm just really hoping I can get get him taken care of. Oh my word! Okay, this is this is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. I don't know. You know what? We're going we're going we're going to do this. Cause I don't care. I do not care. Don't care. We're gonna we, we, What? How does that hit me? How? In what world does that hit me? That was right in literally underneath you. And you nope, I'm gonna hit you. Er, gonna hit you. Alright. Well we're gonna we're gonna do some bad things to him. Whenever he turns back up. Did he leave? He seriously, he legitimately left. He got bored. Oh my. Word. Okay, you know what? The faster way is this way. 
pretty sure the faster way is this way. <sighs> that has never happened to me, ever, where the monster got bored and ran away. Wow. Just wow. I'm not, I'm not redoing this. Not, no, I'm not. Sorry, but just... I'm really just in awe right right now because that should not have been a thing that was possible to happen right there. Because yeah, just just no, it's not really something that should have been possible to happen. And of course, one shot, one shot. Look at that, look at that, one one shot. Yeah, it's one shot. Screw you. <sighs> not a fan of that happening ever. Um, stupid cat. I killed this thing. Get away from me. Anyway, um, hope you all learned something about Ignactor, about this armor set, about this bow gun. Useful things which will be much more useful in the future. Um, still incredibly angry about that. I'm going to uh, mine some stuff while I'm still here. But yes, I will see you all in the next segment in just a few seconds. So yeah, I'll be right back. And we're back and ready to take on Ignactor once again, this time with the light bow gun. As you can see, I have... Switched back into my Legiacris armor, and I'm going to be using the Royal Torrent. I think that's what it is. I think that's this current upgrade. I know it gets there eventually. I'm not sure if it's there yet, but I think that's what it is right now. Let me just make sure. Um, yep, Royal Torrent. It is the only light bogan we have right now that will rapid fire water shot, which is a very good thing to have, especially when going against uh, Ignactor. Like I said, I probably. In retrospect, I probably should have used the um, the nibble snarf gun against uh, Ignactor in the in the heavy bowgun segment, but you know, live and learn and learn from my mistakes. There we go. Well, that's what we're gonna go for it right now. Uh, Ignactor, unlike most other monsters, will not differ, will not change where it uh, spawns. It will always spawn here in area seven. Uh, so always make sure to run up here. Get your bow gun ready. I also brought some poison shots. Uh, I'm not actually sure how effective poison is against uh, Ignactor, but um, I figured better to have it and not be effective than to try it without it and suddenly figure out that, hey, that would have been a good thing to have. But uh, especially since this gun doesn't have all that many uh, variations on... Um, let me get a little bit to the left and right. All right, though, well, that's actually just probably because of uh, my temper, so it's a good thing. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, so yeah, uh, poison shots, super effective. Um, generally, I think I don't think I mentioned this very much in the last one, but generally your best place to shoot it are either the the face or the chest. Um, you can also break the chest, the back, the tail, cut the tail, break all four claws, um, and I think that's it. But, uh, oh, I think I mentioned the face already. So yeah, you, you can break pretty much anything on here and then some. And uh, it's, a, it's a good thing to break as much of it as you can, because you get rewards for everything you break. Uh, didn't really have a good shot at that with uh, the pierce shots, because those are kind of distributed evenly through on the inside of the monster, and only want hits on the outside if you're counted. Um, but uh, aside from that, yeah, good things. Good things. Not poison yet. Okay. So poison is apparently not something it's very weak to, or at least initially. Um, maybe once it's actually applied, it gets more. Also, something you want to be aware of is that uh, in the Geocris armor, which I am, you are incredibly weak to fire. Um, so, that laser beam that I got hit by in the last one, that took off like half my health, yeah. You're looking at two-thirds, three-quarters, and in certain terrible circumstances, perhaps even all of it. Um, this is probably the first monster you will meet that can potentially one-shot you. Are you serious? You're still not poisoned? I've put ten shots into you. How much more can you take? I did bring combos, but okay, there we go. Now I got you. Well, apparently we're only going to be able to poison him once. I um, also brought some cluster shot this time. Maybe that can help break the claws there, get a trip. Uh, yeah, every one of the claws that you break equals a trip, so you want to you wanna try and aim for those. Uh, it's always a good thing to get some free hits. Free hits are never a bad thing. Um, generally, the face is super weak to everything. You'll cause quenches galore if you just aim there. But um, it's, as it's also like the smallest part of his body, it's a little bit hard to hit that sometimes. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. There we go. Good. 
good at Nactor. There's a good boy. Don't do it. Rockdor will, but screw a Rockdor, because it's a Rockdor! Minion monster fun times every day. I think they are. Um. Anyway, uh, uh, with the light bow gun, you have a lot more maneuverability, so you don't really have to put it away. But even if you do, it's fairly fast to get back out. So, um, again, one of those situations where it's like, do I need new maneuverability? I'd rather have it than not. So, we'll just take it. Um, we might get some tremors, some tremors going on here. Um, because, well, I don't have tremor resist on, so that'd be kind of a bad thing. Um, yeah, okay, that poison, oh, okay, the poison is still hanging on, so maybe it was worth bringing it along. So, uh, you never know. Well, actually, I could have known had I, you know, looked it up beforehand, but I didn't, because I'm lazy. But, uh, seems to, seems to be causing at least enough damage that, uh, or at least hanging on long enough that I think it's causing enough damage to be worthwhile, so we'll go for that. Please don't shoot me. Thank you. I'm the only one allowed to shoot here. Ha ha! It's not fair, but it works for me. Oh, yeah, but why are you standing in my way all the time? Oh, just all the time. Well, I suppose you're better than him and his minions, but still. Oh, just never ending. These minions just have no idea what they're doing. Alright, see? Uh, I just broke the right, left front claw. Port and starboard, I'm good with. Right and left, not so much. <laughs> Port and starboard never change. Right and left, all the time. So. Oh, shit. Yep. I know it looks like I try I just rolled right into that, and I did, but it wasn't intentional. Um, I promise it wasn't intentional. I, I was trying to avoid it, actually, but... Uh, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Extra damage. I support that practice. And do I have I do have first aid, first aid that's good. Alright, he's gonna go for Cha Cha, it looks like. I support that. Um better Cha Cha than me. I know. <gasps> Poor Cha Cha, I don't care. <sighs> as long as he's keeping me from dying, he's he's doing his job. He'll be rewarded later. Or punished if he doesn't. <laughs> it's just kinda of this that's just kinda of how this works. Um right. Focus again, fire on that uh, right front claw, not left front. But right front. And uh Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Um, when you have fire resistance as bad as I do, or lack of fire resistance as bad as I do in this armor, um, even just Ignactor running into you in an aggressive manner will uh, will cause you to get fire blight. Uh, I found that out the hard way. Um, even that tail swipe had it hit me properly would have probably caused fire blight. So try and avoid that as much as possible because fire blight... Um, actually takes away your health, your red bar, not your green bar. Um, if you stand in lava, it takes away your green. If you get caught on fire, it takes away your red. And if it happens to meet up with your green, well, then you lose that too. So try not try to avoid that at all costs, or at, in any way, shape, or form possible. Um, so yeah, just, just bad things if that happens to you. I'm going to run over here to Area 5 again, because he's going to... Where is he? Did he go to Area 8? Cha cha, stop crawling on the ground and tell me where it is. Thank you. Pro tip: If Cha Cha's being just stupid and not showing you where you need to go, kick him. It works. It's lovely. I support the practice all the time um, because you know I, I sometimes your your little shakalakas just just don't get it. They forget that they're fighting a monster and they're supposed to be helping you, and they're just like, oh look, butterflies or whatever, and it's not helpful. Or they're just like, oh, I don't want to be seen here, so I'm going to engage my sneak function, and your primary function is to get hit, so I don't. Um, so yeah, it, it just it makes me it makes me a little bit uh, unhappy when they when they just abandon their post like that. So um, feel free to kick them, shoot them, blow them up, any anything really to uh, to get the point across. I just broke the right front claw, so there's only one claw left to go. Uh, as you can see here, he is going to do that, and uh, I lucked out. And got really close, so yeah, broke the chest. Uh, water shot will elemental just in general is better for breaks, but uh, in terms of bow guns, uh, raw damage tends to be better um, for damage over time. So keep that in mind. Um, okay, need to get out of there. Need to get out of there. Need to get out of there. Um, I think I just real quick. I think I should apologize um, 
for something I did last week. Oh dear lord. Already? Okay, well, I'll take the free shots. Right there. Uh, elemental shots don't have any range modifiers except if you're just completely out of range and then you don't hit them at all, but that's that's another story. Um, that happens with all ammunition. Woohoo. Um, what was I going to say? So there's something very important. Oh yes. Uh, I wanted to apologize for last week. Um, turns out I uh, shouldn't have had the Rathalos um, bowgun for the Baryoth hunt. Um, like I said before, I've done some online stuff to try and keep my character current in all, in all things. And um, it was probably a bad move, because uh, I actually got Ignac There's, I think you need like a couple Ignactor scales um, before you can uh, you know, make that. And I had those, and I had not fought Ignactor yet, so I do apologize for that. That was my fault. Uh, if you would like, leave a comment down below, and I can just tell you, yeah, you messed up, and you do it right, and I will re-record that with a more appropriate bowgun, one that I should actually have had at that point. Um, you know what? We're going to sleep on it, because I feel like it. <laughs> uh, and clearly you can see that the, the light bowgun with those rapid-fire water shots is doing just massive work against this thing. Uh, much, much, much more happy with uh, this result than with the the heavy bow gun, especially since it left, it got bored and left the final area. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, while you're here, because well, while I'm here, because I'm going to be waiting for it to go to sleep. Um, cha cha, you tell me when it's asleep. It's asleep. Okay. Well, I'm just going to mine this out real quick because I probably need some of this stuff. Earth crystals. I don't need earth crystals right now. Well, I do need earth crystals, but not. <sighs> it's complicated. Just trust me on this. All right. Um. What? Oh. Okay. Well, I'm stupid, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna put this here, and hopefully that doesn't hit him first. It probably did, but that's okay. Whoa! Oh, cha cha! You are so good right now. You are so just owning all the bones. Just owning all the bones right now. Yes, you are just masterful. Just masterful. Okay. Um, normal twos, I guess, would be up next. Because uh, he is really... Well, I thought he was close to being dead last time, too. So I guess I can't say he's really close to being dead. Because clearly that is not a good indicator of whether or not he's actually close to being dead. It should be. It really should be. But it's not. Um, yeah, normal twos. Got that normal boost from the laggy armor. And boom. There we go. You're dead. Ah! Uh, there's a... He has a heavy bow gun and some armor, which, if you're going to be doing normal shots a lot, um, it's not bad. Um, I, in terms of damage output, though, um, laggy armor is probably better just because it has that um, weakness exploit, which uh, his does not. But uh, it's, it's, not, it's not bad. It's pretty cool looking armor. I, I, I made the G rank version for my main character on the podcast, shippercartpodcast.com. If you have not yet, no. That's not, that's the that's the email address. Triple Cart Podcast or Triple Cart Cast YouTube.com, something like that. YouTube.com slash triple cart cast, something to that effect. Uh, go check that out. There's a link in the description. You can check it out if you have not already. I highly I highly recommend you do. Um, because it's pretty cool. And it's me and like my buddy Stoic on there and a bunch of other folks who come on and drop in from time to time and it's fun. We have just a good old time. Um, but yeah. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did enjoy, like me down below would be very much appreciated. If not, a dislike video, a nasty comment telling me to get better at all this hunting stuff would be also very much appreciated. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.